Well, I'm delighted to talk more about this. Joining me in the studio, Detective Sergeant Julian McGill and also Leslie Evans. Lovely to see you both in the studio. Um, Julian, first of all to you, what do we mean by CSE? It's child abuse. Um, it includes um, sexual abuse, um, emotional abuse, violence, and in some cases neglect too. And it's the exploitive relationships that children become involved with due to the coercion or the manipulation of generally, although not exclusively, um, an adult. Leslie, you were a victim of CSE. Can you tell us what happened to you? I was about seven years old um, when it started and it went on till I was about 15. This was obviously someone you knew. Father. It was your stepfather. Mm -hmm. And how did you feel during the period of time, the years that this was going on? I, I didn't like being in the same house. Um, and when it came to bedtime, I was always on edge, uh, hoping and praying that he didn't come in. Um, same as when it was time to get a bath. I, I didn't like going in there because I knew he'd come in there as well. Julian, I guess Leslie's story is similar to stories that you hear, sadly, all too often. Um, yes, we do. Um, and it's one of the reasons why it has to come from um, a government level to begin with, to, f to form a statutory organisation, to encourage all the agencies to talk to each other and to share information, because without that, um, we're never going to beat this. Mm. Um, and we're conscious that from the police's perspective, um, the children that we deal with um, are vulnerable. They're often from disrupted households, um, and these are the families that the agencies work together with. And sometimes um, they hold the police in a different regard. That's why it's important that we've got the best relationship that we can have mm. when it comes to um, talking to the children, supporting them through prosecution, um, providing that network for them, um, but importantly to make sure that we do a thorough investigation with all the information that we have and prosecute these offenders. How easy is it to spot early signs of child abuse? It's not a perfect science, um, but 75% of our victims live at home with the parents or carers. Parents are probably the people best suited to spot the initial signs. Children's behaviour will change. There's a big link um, to children who go missing from home. They're exposing themselves to that um, sexual exploitation. Um, but when we see a change in a child's behaviour, whether it's uh, they become more secret about the use of mobile devices, they've suddenly got a older or um, secretive peer group, school begins to suffer, attendance, performance, and you can sometimes see a change in behaviour in the home, outbursts of violence, and they become known to the police. They become involved often in crime, arguably on a lower level, um, but generally, it's through the manipulation of an older person. Leslie, you, you, you reported your abuse several years later, didn't you? Uh, it was about 38 years later. And um, since you've told people, has that changed you as a person? Yeah, you know? I think I have calmed down a lot. Um, I still, I mean, over the years I've suffered with a lot of depression, anxiety, panic attacks. And a few years ago, there's just no way I could have done anything like this. Uh, but I just want to help other women that's been or in this situation. If, if someone wants to come and find someone to say, it's happening to me, or if, I suppose, as importantly, someone feels that one of their friends or someone they know is the victim, where does someone go? The most obvious route would be to come to us. Um, and you take every allegation seriously? Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Um, there's lots, of, lots and lots of routes you can report now, whether you are brave enough and have the confidence enough to come to the police station or whether you want to go through another route and do it anonymously. Thank you for telling your story. Thank you for your experiences and uh, telling us about what the police are doing as well. Julian, Leslie, lovely to see you.